Hi there, Leo, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there, Leo. And it's okay, Leo, to take a little time out for yourself. In fact, you're being encouraged to take some time out for yourself. Okay. Let's see what you need to know, though, um, about your current situation uh, from Spirit here. Oh, you guys got somebody coming back. Yeah, someone is going to be returning from your past. You're going to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But, you know, I was getting this thing about needing space or giving time to yourself, and that's exactly what you need to do. And don't obsess about this for some of you Leos, but, yeah, someone that you guys know um, or that you will have a strong, deep feeling with, um, a soul connection here, could be the one. So get ready to meet the romantic partner you seek. Maybe some of you guys, you've met them, but we need to just give yourself space, the other person space or whatever's going on. Some of you, you need to just, you know, allow yourself to feel nurtured and cared for because, um, yeah, you guys are going to be having heart to heart conversations here. So don't be afraid to express your feelings honestly here. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Definitely get like water, um, water sign energy. Also, I'm getting air sign coming through too. So, air, excuse me, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? And also, Leo, whenever the video finds you or you find the video and it resonates for your situation, then it's meant for you, okay? Regardless of the date or the time. What else does Leo need to know? The way out of confusion is to surrender. Some of you guys are getting confused by some something or someone that's flirtatious as well. Some of you guys may need to resist right now. You know, I'm just going to go back to saying that I feel some of you guys need to give yourself some time. Um, I do feel that there's something going on here. Maybe it's like lust <laughs> at play. So you might want to be careful with that energy. Some of you, I just see you being in your, um, Leo, you know, your uh, strength card energy, which is um, Leo's energy. So I do feel that there may be something here with resisting things that could cause more confusion um, or that could lead astray. And, um, you know, Leo, you're going to know exactly what it's going to feel like, because if you're feeling confused about a certain situation right now, just back away from it. Okay. Um, let's see what else for Leo. Now there could have been something going on here with someone where maybe we're all up in our head about someone here, what they're doing. And so we may need to just not focus on that person. Okay. Uh, cause it might be just driving you guys crazy and just exerting energy that you don't need to. Um, let's see what else you need to know about your situation. Leo, and also, Leo, this is a general reading, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. Yeah, I feel that you guys are really on some onto something when it comes to perfecting something in one's life here, okay? We do have Virgo energy coming through here as well. Yeah, you just need to do what you must do right now, Leo. So give yourself some time and space because we do have like a sense of mm, like seven of cups type of energy or maybe even two of swords. We could be up in our head about a lot of things right now. So just practice on taking care of your priorities right now. Um, some of you guys, it might be finances and and career at uh, at play right now and so you may need to focus on that or just focus um tending and taking care of yourself leo because you're getting prepared for something here uh to have a <laughs> you know heart to heart conversation here okay so i feel that a lot of you leos are definitely destined to be in the service of others here so you know i was talking about the strength card and i do feel that this is all about you leo um, being strong and leading your path here. Okay. What else for Leo? What's up with this? You know, I was just talking about this leader servicing to others. I feel a lot of you Leos have great influence too. And some of you Leos, it's almost like your angels are really whispering to you, letting you know when, to do something or they're showing you signs about things. Okay. So listen to that, but I'm also going to get a little bit more too with this, um, influence for Leo. Let's get a little bit more with this influence for Leo.
Hmm. Hmm. Be careful too, not to get into things um, that cause you guys more confusion, right? Anyhow, let's get a little bit more with this influence. See, I've, I'm getting like six of wands. I, I definitely get something going on here with you guys. Um, doing something to improve your status, your popularity, your influence, okay? I do feel uh, there's something strong about you, you guys having major gifts here. So some of you guys are awakening or you have awoken to, you know, something really meaningful for you, okay? A lot of you guys have the p powerful gift of influence. Know this, own it, okay? I do feel some of you, there may be something here with giving into um, rest, uh, meditation for visualization to allow things to come to you, okay? Because this is about you seeking some type of uh, gifts that are important for you and opening them up. What else for Leo? Yeah, some of you Leos are really up in your head and we may need to just do radical acceptance at this time. I mean, look at this. It is what it is. So now it's just you got to do what you got to do. Don't sit around. Don't fantasize. Don't daydream. Some of you guys don't do that because that might if you're doing it too long and it's and it's causing more confusion, you're procrastinating on something here. Right. And so we, we've got to just um, just get into the groove here of like not let, allowing yourself to. Um, not see opportunities around you, okay? And I'm seeing this door here. So Spirit is saying it is what it is, Leo. Um, you know, and again, it's just like radical acceptance and, and be willing to open this new door for you, okay? And don't be afraid of what's behind that door, Leo, because I do feel that this is about you guys coming into that lion energy, okay? Um, commanding presence, because you've earned it. And I do feel, again, there may be something here where we have to re um, refrain from doing anything at the moment that could cause more confusion, okay? But Spirit is saying it is what it is, okay? So we, we may need to just let it be. Just let it be for right now. What else for Leo? Yeah, you guys got, you guys got something going on here when it comes to a soul connection, friendship, um, the right chemistry here <laughs> so have patience and take your time now some of you leos you might be encouraged to connect with friends right now but i am getting something going something with um you know this maybe someone that you may know here or maybe in pass by i mean who knows how deep you know them or maybe you just seen them maybe they seen you turns into a friendship and maybe into something else that's always a good thing okay so i do feel that there's something at play here um, with you guys coming into um, support, friendship, okay? Camaraderie here. What else for Leo? Yeah, you, you don't need to go through something alone either, Leo. So it's like the universe is working something out here for you. What else for Leo? I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, I was getting something about not missing these opportunities, okay, that's around you. Because you are being gifted with joy and happiness, but you just need to be aware of the things that are going on right now that can bring you happiness, right? And now look at this. I feel for a lot of you Leos, don't question your path, really. I mean, you're, the opportunities that it presents is what? The right path happiness okay so spirit is saying for some of you just ha be grateful now okay even if you don't see this yet be grateful now because this is what gives it power what else oh my goodness oh my gosh you guys leo okay this is no joke it is someone from your past but oh my goodness this is going to confuse you more but who cares just let it go okay because you'll just know it'll, it'll tell you by your feelings here i mean past life relationship you've known each other before and look true love <laughs> look at that chemistry and look the friendship i mean come on mm -hmm. 
let something be right now give yourself space and time some of you, you some of you not all of you but some of you leos you may need to refrain from being tempted to you know do something that could pull you off your path right now um if it's not time for that because i do feel that there's some something with finances career um learning educating self or just taking time out to nurture and strengthen your your spirit and your mind and your body okay what else for leo spirit is trying to put something at rest here for you guys to know that you really are on the right path for happiness i mean i'm aware that being happy means that i'm on the right path okay so find what makes you happy okay what else for leo balance discipline see told you there's something strong with you guys uh, <laughs> just get something that some of you leos are gonna have to stay determined and disciplined on right yeah setting what you're this is the thing it's like mind over matter right now i can accomplish what i set my mind to so it is going to take discipline leo but you will get paid for this so don't worry okay i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment so we may need to again take a step back right without judgment is not judging what it was ourselves or others or the situation anymore it's it's just what it was okay boom done go we gotta go it is what it is <laughs> right but you got to trust that there's something happening here when it comes to more harmony and balance in one's life okay but we may need to keep our our focus on our own self right now and not others because it could be distracting especially as you are evolving and growing and more aware it can get a little bit distracting because then we can start really judging others in a way when even when we don't mean to um, but right now it's just like don't even and also for some of you don't even compare your life to another's I acknowledge that look look I acknowledge that I'm um, harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so you know just be at ease right now right letting it go for your own health for your own peace of mind something wants to come out with this forgiveness card let's see What wants to come out with this forgiveness card? Look at this. Ace of Summer. And Eight of Autumn. Yeah, there's the finance and career, pretty much what we're just talking about. And look, that parrot is studying here. See? Some of you guys are going to have to do, use mental focus right now okay don't let something flirty or flirting with something i mean don't let that distract you because i'm seeing you guys being up in your head for some of you guys okay <clears throat> oh i'm shaking the um sorry i'm i must be hitting the uh, camera anyhow oh we're getting this forgiveness thing so we've got the high priestess <laughs> And we got the ace of cups you guys know what you guys are here to do and you know intuitively that you really are being shown signs and keep things to yourself too right now because some of you guys you're awakening to some beautiful spiritual gifts i mean we were talking about your gifts okay here's high priestess and here's the ace of cups okay so i feel that a lot of you guys oh my goodness we got something strong here let it go it is what it is leo because you guys are you know intuitively what's going on here this is the beginning of a no, new emotional experience for you, and it may be the first blush ooh, of romantic love. Mm, or, listen, the rebirth of a current relationship or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. Okay? Now, listen. This is a time to pause and reflect. Remember, we're talking about, Leo, take a step back. Put your focus on yourself, not on others right now. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. Oh, boy. So you guys know, right? You know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you also need to know that you have this ability to make a ripple effect in the world. So, yes, a lot of you guys have these beautiful gifts for a reason. It's your purpose, okay? And when you're following your purpose, everything else falls into place. It's just magic, okay? 
Now, some of you guys are going to find something uh, like a new love with what you guys do or enhance your love too. And I also see um, with this high priestess and the ace of cups, um, you know, past life. I mean, we know we're, we're picking something up here, so we know it's coming. <laughs> It's the perfect time to learn all you can, Leo, by returning to school or taking a seminar or conducting research. Do your best work right now, okay? Don't take any shortcuts either. I don't know. I just felt like saying that. I'm not saying that you guys are. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys want to, but anyhow. Um, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. See, law of attraction. This is why I was talking about, you know, just being grateful for the things that you have right now and that you know are coming, okay? But then, you know what the, the most beautiful thing is, is just release it to the universe and just kind of do your thing, you know? Do your daily tasks, your your work. I mean, because a lot of you, you really are um, being inspired by spirit to go forth and, and take on some type of, you know, leadership or, uh, you know, doing something that can um, also help others, okay? along the way, if that's what you're choosing, because I do feel a lot of you guys have a strong influence. <laughs> okay, let's see, what else for Leo? Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you know, Leo, we got the parrot too. I and, and I was just saying, like, maybe keeping some stuff to yourself. So I do feel like we. Don't, if you don't want something repeated, you know how parrots are. <laughs> Oh my gosh, birds. Look at the birds. The bird is out of the cage. Leo, look at the parrot out of the freaking cage. Now look at this. <laughs> and I was just noticing the birds over here. We got an owl. We got a dove. We got a parrot. We got more doves. We got freedom, baby. We got freedom. Ooh, what do you, what do you guys need to free yourself from here? Hmm? Well, let's get a little bit more with this uh, freedom for Leo. Don't worry, Leo. I've been in a cage like that, too. So it's all good. We all have to kind of be in a cage at times in our lives so we can see how strong and powerful we really are. Let's see what is up with this freedom. Oh, I'm getting like tower moment, too, for some of you guys. If you had an opportunity or something had happened to give you freedom, take it. It might look ugly on the surface, but it's not. Let's get a little bit more with this freedom for Leo. Oh, yeah, Spirit wants me to look at that one and this one. Yeah, you gotta free yourself from something here, right? Because, you know, there's something about embracing each other you find in the missing pieces. So, Leo, it is what it is, right? We've got to really accept and let go so that <laughs> the new can enter okay embracing someone and by the way look at that my goodness that looks kind of nice huh passion <laughs> oh boy oh you do need to free your you, you're gonna know what you need to free yourself of because there's a mag magnetic seductive quality that's surrounding you right now i'm just getting like six of wands energy oh i keep hitting the um it's because I have my, okay, I'm going to move this little, I got an exercise ball uh, that's hitting that. Okay, anyhow. Oh my God. <laughs> Here it is. <clears throat> it is what it is. Acceptance. Look at this. And I was talking about radical acceptance too. Acceptance is a key to inner peace. You have to, Leo. This is this is this is a have to. This isn't, you know, uh, I want to. This is a, you have to cultivate inner peace right now. It's imperative, okay. And at times we must accept things as they are. It is what it is. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control, right? So if we're trying to control something, this is what's keeping you guys in a cage here. And this is what's keeping you from seeing and missing opportunities as well, or the signs, right? But don't worry, spirit's always going to nudge at you. Yeah, you're meant to. You're meant to fly free, Leo. You're meant to fly free. You know, birds of a feather flock together. 
Leo. Okay, you don't belong in that cage. You belong with your, you know, other birdies here. <laughs> All right, let's see what else for Leo. Oh, now some of you, ooh, I was telling you guys to get to work and stuff for some, but let's talk about balance, okay? So, you know, for some of you guys, I don't want you overworking here. Um, so we may need to just kind of, you know, we need to implement some new things here. Try to look and see how we can, um, you know, balance your daily life, your work, or whatever you guys got going on here, because someone is really intensely focused here too. So we may need to take a little break. <laughs> mm, I knew that two of swords was going to come out, man. I use my intuition in all aspects of life right now. <laughs> I feel right now this is about focusing on the tasks at hand and doing what you guys need to do. We've got to get something lined up here. I know it's going to be hard for some of you guys when, you know, you have to use your intuition and all the, all of your aspects, but seriously, <laughs> how do you feel about it? Okay. Think about how you would feel about it after you make the decision. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. I mean, come on, just trust yourself. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, some of you guys, it's going to be time to just kind of make a decision here and not wait around for something or someone. Let's get a little bit more with this indecision for Leo. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Memories are really strong, aren't they? Memories has got some of you guys held up here, too. Oh, and the other thing is, yes, yeah, Spirit is saying a lot of you, um, a lot of you guys, you can access your past memories here, okay? Oh, my gosh, wow. We're going to go deep, aren't we, for some of you guys? Oh, we're talking about past lives. We're talking about resurrecting old wisdom from a long time ago. Um, activating wisdom through ancestral DNA too. So there is something that's going to help you from the past. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> but it's because you've experienced something. So some of you guys just search for something in the past that helped you before and it's going to help you now. Okay. And I do see so, some of you guys, you're daydreaming, you're confused because we're all up in our head about something here. Memories, um, you know, it's like Six of Cups. Yeah, there is something Six of Cups here. Woo! Some of you guys are having a hard time with, um, for some of you guys, it's your, it's like past or past old friends, maybe even childhood friends, people you kind of, you know, had a long time with, but you know, again, if you guys are kind of confused about that, think about how you feel. If you continue that situation with them, if it feels yucky and wrong as you move forward, come on, come on, you know what to do then turn around, free yourself. Okay. It is what it is. Um, what else? Yeah, get playful. You calling in your soulmate. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is going to be your soulmate. Oh my gosh. This is a strong thing here. What in the world? So I'm seeing what, what you need to make a decision on is yourself. All about Leo, not making decisions on what you think others want you to do. No, this is about what you want to do and what you must do. Okay. For yourself, you need to go play. You need to give to yourself. You need to, maybe for some of you guys, you know, you may need to um, balance like study and work or, or something like that, right? So we can make some play. But listen, you're going you're gonna to get ready to get playful here anyways, because your prayers and your affirmations and visualizations is bringing you all together, okay? Because this is your soulmate. I mean, come on. You're coming together, baby. What else for Leo? transformation yeah death card not surprised right we've had some type of ending it is what it is you're opening up a totally new area in your life 
What does it say though? I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings and that is the truth, okay? Some of you guys, you're, you're, you're hooking yourself up into memories here and you may need to be careful with that because sometimes our memories can get a little bit skewed. So we can either make it better or worse than it actually was. So, you know, it is what it is, right? Let's focus on just right now in this moment and where you're going and what's coming towards you at this moment. And again, a lot of you with your spiritual gifts, hello, accessing ancient memories, your ancestors, things that you've done in the past too, Leo, because you've learned something. You've done something in the past that's helped you get over an obstacle. So spirit is saying, do it again, use it again, okay? Scorpio energy is coming through here. What else for Leo? Go flirt. Oh my gosh. You're meant to go. Oh, some of you guys might even be confused like if you should go flirt or not. Hmm. Well, Leo, you know, just, just start practicing extending your lighthearted energies uh, to others when the opportunities arise, okay? Yeah, you guys are, um, I'm getting like Page of Cups energy and look at this. Spirit is saying, okay, this, it is so weird because we've got like reconciliation. Oh my Lord. And then we got like past life. I mean, I don't want to confuse you guys more, <laughs> but you're going to know it at a deep soul level here. Okay. So keep an open mind because some of you Leos, um, <laughs> you know, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations here. Okay. So just remember that. <laughs> oh, you do deserve love. I feel a lot of you guys might be pushed to, um, you know, again, going into a whole new territory that you're not used to here. Um, get a little flirty with yourself and with life, okay? Um, because I do see that um, Cupid's arrow has striked here, actually. So Leo, there's love in the air, okay? Love is in the air. <laughs> what else for Leo? Okay, that's it. Let's find out how spirit is helping you, Leo. How is spirit helping Leo? Oh, Leo, oh my God, I told you. I told you. Yes, I know what I'm here to do. Your purpose. My God. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Leo, for having to go through all you, what you had to go through to do your purpose, to help do your thing here on the world. Okay. So um, if you've been questioning how spirit's helping you, by the way, you are seeing signs. Some of you guys, that owl is showing you too what to be aware of as well. Ah, uh, spirit's helping you guys with your purpose and perseverance. I know what I'm here to do, and I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I feel that, th oh, ignore my little nail chip. <laughs> it's not about me, is it, Leo? It's about you. But anyhow, go ahead and look at my nail chip, my polished chip. I don't care. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So I feel that this is really about you guys being in your um, strength card right now. Spirit's helping you guys. Um, with your purpose and having beautiful influence with your gifts here, okay? And I know that something is just a little bit confusing, but you're you're actually connecting with a soulmate. Um, listen to me. You're connecting with a soulmate that's a part of your purpose, that's going to help support your purpose, okay? That's not going to take from you, drain you, or do these things that throw you off your purpose, okay? So you have to trust when spirit's helping you guys with your purpose, everything else is going to happen. So ha help spirit by trusting too. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.